Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and shine within your people here.
May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. When we talk about living in Christian community, oftentimes what we envision is this very idealized picture of, of hanging out with the best of friends where it's all fun and laughter and no hard times and no conflict. The reality is that you are sinful and that they are sinful and that conflict is inevitable. What is supposed to make Christian community different is that we walk in forgiveness. Forgiveness allows us to overcome the hurts and the wrongs of the past. It allows us to continue a relationship where trust is foremost, and we are able to support one another along this journey. It is so very hard, but so very important that we walk in forgiveness. We encourage you to pause the video and share these questions with those you are gathered with. If you are alone, you may wish to write your thoughts down in a journal. Resume the video when you are done. We read from Matthew 18, verses 21 through 35. Then Peter came up and said to him, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy-seven times. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. When he began to settle, one was brought to him who owed him ten thousand talents. And since he could not pay, his master ordered him to be sold with his wife and children and all that he had and payment to be made. So the servant fell on his knees, imploring him, have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the master of that servant released him and forgave the debt. But when that same servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. And seizing him, he began to choke him, saying, Pay what you owe. So his fellow servant fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. He refused and went and put him in prison until he should pay the debt. When his fellow servants saw what had taken place, they were greatly distressed, and they went and reported to their master all that had taken place. Then his master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. And should not you have had mercy on your fellow servant as I had mercy on you? And in anger his master delivered him to the jailers until he should pay all his debt. So also my heavenly Father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. Again, we encourage you to pause the video to reflect on these questions. Resume the video when you are done. We read from Acts 13, verses 29 through 39. And when they had carried out all that was written of him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, who are now his witnesses to the people. And we bring you the good news that what God promised to the fathers, this he has fulfilled to us, their children, by raising Jesus as also it is written in the second psalm, 
You are my son. Today I have begotten you. And as for the fact that he raised him from the dead, no more to return to corruption, he has spoken in this way, I will give you the holy and sure blessings of David. Therefore, he says also in another psalm, you will not let your Holy One see corruption. For David, after he had served the purpose of God in his own generation, fell asleep and was laid with his fathers and saw corruption. But he whom God raised up did not see corruption. Let it be known to you, therefore, brothers, that through this man forgiveness of sins is proclaimed to you. And by him, everyone who believes is freed from everything from which you could not be freed by the law of Moses. Again, we encourage you to pause the video to reflect on these questions. Resume the video when you are done. Forgiveness is hard, especially if a person has hurt you deeply or repeatedly. Sometimes we fear that if we forgive that person, then we are going to become a doormat. If so, please know this. Forgiveness is an expected part of the Christian life, but trust is earned. Forgiveness is about what lies in the past. Trust is about the present and the future. As Christians, we are called to forgive those who sin against us, even if they have not asked or sought our forgiveness. We do not want to harbor bitterness against them in our hearts because we know how much God has already forgiven us. If they won't repent, that's between them and God. However, we do not need to continually put ourselves in a place in which another person can hurt us. That's not forgiveness. That's abuse. That's not what we are called to as followers of Jesus. Also know this. Forgiveness is hard. So hard that it can only be accomplished by the power of Christ at work within us. If you are struggling to forgive someone who has hurt you deeply, then we would encourage you to take that situation to God in prayer. Ask God to help you forgive that person, to help you want what is best for that person. Ask God to care for that person, even if you realize that you are not in a place where you can safely care for them. Ask God to heal your heart so that that person's sin does not continue to harm you. Forgiveness is hard, and yet forgiveness is what we are all about. So walk in forgiveness, my friends. Let us pray. Lord, throughout our dusty walk, may we remember we are not alone. It is on this journey that we reflect on those who have gone before and those who will come after. Grant us the strength to show grace and give us the courage to admit when we are wrong. Help us to walk in forgiveness. Amen.
us all of our days. Keep us, hold us, gracious God. Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and thanks to you. May God create. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.